the life of a mega nerd, baby. We doing things and we making it happen, right? From the trash 80 to a black Mercedes, no one can stop us now, cause we're keeping it nerdy, nice. What's up, YouTube? This is Christmas Age Films and another Sony Vegas 8 or 9 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do basically what I call a Sin City effect. And if you've watched the movie Sin City, you'll notice that some parts of the video is color, while other parts is completely black and white. So basically what I'm going to show you guys is basically how to do that today. So we're just going to go ahead and open up Vegas and import the clip you're going to use. And I'm going to use a Call of Duty clip, which I'll just use this one right here. And it's going to bring this into your video track. So I'll let this load. And there we go. So here we go. We got our clip. So we'll just move forward to where you want it to start. And uh, just a remind, reminder, if you're using like Urban in Call of Duty, like this, if you want to use this for like a montage or whatever, anything of the hue red is going to stay that color. So like if you see like the red on Defend A and Defend B up on the radar, it's going to stay red. So I just go ahead and split that, just cut that down to size, drag it to the front of your timeline. Okay, first what we're going to do is basically, there's two ways we can do this actually. We can go to Video Effects, go to Color Corrector Secondary, and drag in Reset to None. And you'll uh, take this eyedropper and click on the red that's on the intervention, or whatever you're using. Go to invert mask and bring the saturation all the way down so it changes everything to black and white. Now for when you get down here to the limit luminous, take low all the way down and high all the way up to its full. On limit saturation, low all the way down and high all the way up. And basically you just mess around with these to get the colors you want, like right here. It's the most red. Width makes makes it a little more red. Just makes the width of the red a little and smooth is like around the edges, which I'll just take that all the way down. So we're gonna just go ahead and close this out and let's watch this. And there you go. So it's probably a little laggy for you, so at the end of this video I will put this technique, put the outcome of this technique at the end, and then I'll put the outcome of my second technique in. Okay, now, basically, what we need to do is just go ahead and undo all these changes. There we go. So, make sure that's all of them. Yeah. Okay, that's all the changes undone. So, just go ahead and delete this audio track. And what I'm going to show you is you just copy this and paste it into another video track. So just go ahead and click paste. And drag underneath. Okay, so now what we're going to do. Drag this to the beginning so we see what we're doing. Maybe. There we go. Okay, now we can see we've got full color in the screen. So what we're going to do on one of these, doesn't matter which one, and we're going to go to, uh, if it's too small like this and you can't see event, pen, and crop, just right click, video, event, pen, and crop, and click on your mask. And zoom in on this. And maybe you gotta grab this pointer tool and get to the area that you want. And if it's something stationary like this, or something you can rotoscope, which is move your points, then what you'll do is just go ahead and click the mask, click on your pointer, and say you just want to do the radar in complete color. Go ahead and just do this right here, maybe around these markers on the radar especially whatever you want to do whatever your preference is there we go. let's take a little time to go around this and there we go we've got that so just can close this out and there we go we pretty much got that now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the second clip go to video effects and you can either go to bring in reset to none and completely desaturate it or you can just go down here to saturation adjust drag and reset to none and just pretty much take all these down and there we go we've got all this completely saturated except this radar up here the radar is still in color so that right there is 
just two ways you can achieve basically the Sin City movie effect. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll put the two results at the end of this uh, video. And I just pretty much hope you guys enjoy this. Hope this helps. Uh, if you use this effect, uh, just leave a video response. Just let me see how good you guys did it. And just basically just let me know that I've actually helped somebody achieve this. So uh, pretty much that's all I have right now. I'll, ne I'll talk to you guys next time I make a tutorial. And see you guys. Merry Christmas.